Well, as we look at the world news, there's been a lot of conversation about what's happening in Iceland. And fears are growing that a volcanic eruption could happen very soon across the country. Volcanic gas levels have been increasing in a coastal town called Grendavik, and that's actually producing more evacuations. Nearly 4,000 people were forced to leave their homes earlier this week, given just minutes to grab whatever they could before they had to leave. Iceland resident and co-founder of The Lava Show, Lady Lava Raga, joins us now to discuss the situation. Thank you for being with us, because so many questions as the world watches. Can you give us the situation there in Grindavik now and the surrounding areas and what you're seeing? Yeah, well, uh, you know, of course, everyone is still very concerned of what's going to happen in Grindavik. Uh, fortunately, now the latest information is that uh, the, the biggest influx of uh, magma is coming up around uh, two, three miles northwest of the town. So that's at the moment the most current location of where the magma is going to uh, breach the surface. And also, uh, you know, the latest information indicates that it's not going to be uh, that as big as initially feared. So hopefully it will just be relatively small, maybe compared to what we saw in the last three months in Fagratasfjall. And that's good news to hear, for sure. But what are still the implications that come with that? Even with a smaller event, you're talking about 4,000 people that have left home. What's the type of human impact that could be produced from this? I mean, this is horrible for the inhabitants of Grindavik, of course. Uh, everyone has had to leave in a great hurry from their homes, and they don't have their... Uh, you know their belongings and, and everything that they they love and, and and care for so obviously our hearts and everyone's in Iceland and elsewhere is with the people of Grindavik and uh, it, there's this high uncertainty and uh, you know it must be horrible I'm I'm not one of those people who had to evacuate but uh, you know it's actually quite heartwarming to see the unity that has formed in Iceland. Everyone is uh, offering up uh, if they have extra homes or summer houses or, or places to stay for the people who've had to evacuate. Companies are uh, offering shelter from cost and uh, individuals are trying to help in any way that they can. And given the scope of this, no matter what happens, how concerning is the carbon dioxide based on the amount of mission that might be put into the atmosphere in and around the towns? Yeah, well, basically, the fact that we're seeing signs of uh, sulfur, uh, you know, SO2, basically tells us that the magma is incredibly close to the surface. We're talking about probably less than 1,500 feet. So, uh, and that's Software. close on Earth scale, right? <laughs> so, yeah. um, this is uh, b basically a strong indicator that magma is very, very close to the surface, which obviously means that th there is still relative, uh, relatively high danger in the region. Fortunately, this is just a small region in the south, uh, you know, basically just in and around this particular town. Mm -hmm. So the rest of Iceland is completely safe. And even the airport, which is uh, some 20 miles away, is uh, still operating like normal. And, and it's not expected to have big impact on that. And thank you for the correction there also, by the way, sulfur dioxide. I want to make sure we got that one right. And Raga, yeah. we appreciate your time because, you know, as outsiders in this setup and, and the amount of interest that the world has on this story, it really makes an impact to hear from somebody that is in Iceland, that is from Iceland, that understands the history of your country right. and the history when it comes to volcanic action. Uh, thank you for your time today. We send you our best and we really appreciate the time that you've given us. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.